in this video, I'm going to show you guys my top 10 favorite new Japanese chocolates from the convenience store. So I love chocolate, but recently they've been coming out with a lot of new chocolate and I think I just needed to spend some time today to introduce you to some of my favorites. Seems like this last year there's been a trend of introducing new types of chocolate, different properties and effects aside from just being good and this is the video where I'm going to share it all with you. Oh, and if you like my Tokyo shirt, check out my merch. Alright, let's begin! Number one, Meiji, the chocolate. So this is Meiji's the chocolate. It's one of the more popular chocolates at the moment and it won a lot of awards actually. Within the line of chocolates they have from 51% all the way up to 70%. I don't think it goes higher than that but they have different flavors but for me I've tried a few of them. This one is my favorite because I'm not a fan of dark chocolate so much. This is the velvet milk flavor and it's 51% cacao. Pictograph here saying like how bitter it is, how sweet, how milky, how nutty the flavor is and whatnot which is actually pretty cool. Cool. It's kind of nice to get like these individually wrapped packages. You feel premium type of chocolate. Look at all the individual pieces, all the different squares. It's really like almost like a retro design. Look how easily it breaks. Ooh. True velvet surprise right there. You still get the hints of bitter, but you can definitely also taste the milk chocolate in it. It's almost as if an artisan made this. It's simply a delightful piece of chocolate. Number two, Guriko Giaba. Giaba stress relieving chocolate. <laughs> I don't know if it actually really works because I've had this before. I actually like it, so I think it's like a pretty cool concept. But apparently this chocolate itself, it has the ingredient Giaba, which is supposed to relieve stress for those people that are doing like very monotonous clerical jobs. Like I think in general chocolate is good because it helps me relieve my stress like when I'm stressed out, but this one is supposed to super duper relieve your stress. At least that's what it says. Alright, let's just open this up. The box goes like this. Oh, oops. Now these look like gold bars. Look at that. Seven pieces of blissful joy. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I'm so stressed by all the hate on the YouTube comments. Please, please melt my stress away. Mm, that just melted my stress away. Or I think it's because I just blocked all of the haters on my YouTube channel. That too. <laughs> But what I like about this one, you can definitely taste the milk chocolate. It's, it's really like pronounced and it's just very smooth. It's actually really, really sweet. And in the box, it also says mental balanced chocolate. So I guess if you're mentally unbalanced, this is a chocolate for you. Number three, Lotte, New Sunkin chocolate. Bring on the next one. I'm getting sugary today. So New Sunkin means lactic acid so apparently they've infused it with living lactic acid ingredients help you digest or it's like really good for your stomach it's kind of interesting like you know like this is one of the things that they've just started adding like infusing different ingredients in the chocolate i'm recommending this one because one it's good for your stomach but it also tastes good four little pieces these are like mini pieces i feel like they didn't actually have to break it up into these four little pieces but it's just really nice like just the details in the chocolate i love it i'm just gonna put it all Mmm. What I like about this is it's like a thick chocolate. It just it melts really quickly, but then it just like stays like really sticky and just coats your entire mouth. It's like a light piece of chocolate itself, but it's it feels almost heavy. Yeah, it's like super milky, but it only comes in the aftertaste. It's an it's an interesting chocolate. It's really good. Number four, Guriko Pokey Double White Choco and White Peach. All right. Pokey! Poke who? Poke me? Poke you? Poke us? Pokey! I really have a sugar rush. So this is a new Pokey flavor and I had to introduce it to you guys. It is delish. So here it says Kindan which means forbidden and what's forbidden is the double dipping of the chocolate. If you guys have ever had Pokey, it has a really thin layer of chocolate on the actual breadstick whereas this they're like oh we never do this but this time we're going to double dip this and make it a thick piece of chocolate layer. It's almost similar to Fran but they've actually layered it a little bit more than Fran. Why are we waiting? Let's just open it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. It's peach flavor. In fact, I've seen a lot of strawberry flavors in Pokey, but I haven't seen a lot of peach flavors. So. All right, let's like I've been waiting and we get to open 
Look how thick these freaking pokey are. They almost look like cigarettes. So this biscuit part is actually peach flavored. Look at that. Like the first thing is you can definitely taste the chocolate. It's really creamy. It almost tastes like a yogurt flavor. Then once you bite into the biscuit, you can definitely taste the peach. One of the things I like about this is the peach, the actual biscuit itself, the peach flavor is really strong so that when you take a bite into the chocolate, it's almost like peach is infused in the chocolate. It's like a great combination between the two. Yo, what y'all doing after school? <laughs> Number five, bourbon daizu, choco kurumitsu kinako. This is soybeans covered with black sugar and kinako. It is a very Japanese and delicious treat. This is like one of Maiko's favorites. She loves this one. Now you guys love the wagashi stuff, so here it is. Look at all those lovely beans. Oh. And what I love about this, it's a crunchy nut on the outside. You can see the soybean nut in the middle, and then you have kinako and black sugar that like it's coated around. It's like super light and crunchy. It's really easy to eat. You can go through the bag really, really quickly. I feel like if you had a bowl of this on a coffee table, people would just be like... Pff. Number six, Lotte. Crunchy caramel and cereal. The series of chocolates that they have called Crunky. So they have like chocolate bars, they have ones in the bag, they have all different flavors, but yeah. And what's cool is this is one of the newer flavors that they have and I wanted to show it to you guys. It's almost like an edamame bean. What it says on the package is like that it doesn't really melt in your hand. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put this one in my palm for a little bit and see if it melts. Yeah, like it doesn't feel like it's like it's gonna melt. Oh, that's really delicious. So it has like the cereal like washed up in little bits and pieces. Caramel is quite sweet, but it's not overpowering. Oh, look at that. It was in my hand for, I would say like a minute. It's a little bit shiny, but it didn't really even melt, which is nice. I feel like I'm in Disneyland. It's almost like eating the, the caramel popcorn in Disneyland. Number seven, bourbon summer truffle salt vanilla flavor. And it's funny, it was, uh, the company that makes this is actually called bourbon. Open it up. Oh, look at red. The summer truffle of the century. It almost looks like a, a walnut or something. Mm. It's a lighter chocolate, it's not too heavy. What's interesting is that in Japan, they sell a lot of like salt snacks in the summer to help you keep hydrated. I don't even know if I remember seeing salt snacks in the States. Uh, maybe it's a popular thing over there now, but the saltiness it has like this addictive property. So it makes you want to eat another one. That's why I have another one in my hand and I'm just gonna keep on eating until I eat all seven. Okay, let's move on to the next one and I'm going to save this for later. I can't help myself, I gotta eat it. <laughs> Number eight, Meiji. Gobo Tsubu Neri Strawberry. So this is Gobo, it's one of my favorite series here in Japan. So they usually have like these like capsule looking, pill looking chocolates. Then they have like all sorts of different flavors. This strawberry flavor is one of the newer ones that they've just re released. Look at that, as thick as my pinky. That strawberry is always a welcome surprise. You can see that like there's not a lot of strawberry coating in it, but in fact, it kind of overpowers the whole entire chocolate itself. The inside is very light and airy, so you don't get a lot of like the chocolate sensation. It's mainly strawberry taste. Number nine, Fujia. Look, Futatsu no Mint Tabe Kurabe. And you guys know I love mint chocolate, but the cool thing about this one, you get two different flavors. You get mint ice cream and you get a mint parfait. My favorite is actually the mint ice cream because it's a little more playful and it's a little more like fun. Whereas the chocolate mint parfait is a, like, kind of like a serious chocolate. And it actually matches my shirt again. Check out my merch. All right, let's open it up. And look, they all come in different designs. So based on the design there, you can tell which flavor it is. All right, so let's try the mint ice cream first. Match it up. Let me just break this open for you guys. What I like about this one, it's like an Andy's Thin Mint. Mint isn't actually that strong. So you're eating more of the chocolate with a slight mint. When you take a bite, it has these crunchy bits almost, like you're bite into it and it like kind of crackles open. What I love about this is it has a liquid inside. Let me show you guys. You see that liquid? Oh, it's falling. Look, look, look. Ah, that's the nectar of the gods. Mmm. 
It's so minty. It's almost like menthol-y to a sense. Like it almost tastes like you're eating Hall's medicine. Like it's that strong. It's really good. Mm. Mint lovers, this is like the perfect combination. And number 10, Lotte. Wakando milk chocolate. Ooh, this one is infused with a Japanese Chinese medicine. You have actually nine different medicines in all in here, or like herbs. herbs? I don't even know if I can pronounce this. So it has jujube, citrus, aruntium, carthamus tinctorius, ginger, Japanese paper mint, licorice Chinese, cannabis seeds, gardenia, meledia reticulata. Look at this QB delight. Mmm, what a wonderful, sensational little piece of chocolate in a perfect cube. Well, it's not actually perfect. You can see that it's a little bit angled. Yo guys, make a perfect cube next time. Definitely can taste the herbs. It's very flavorful, to say the least. It almost has like a honey aftertaste. I've already eaten it and um, I can still taste and like breathe the nine freaking ingredients like coming out of my mouth. I would recommend this if you want like something a little bit different like oh wow that's actually an interesting piece of chocolate that I've never had but if you're looking for something that's just like gonna be a home run then try the other one and as an honorable mention I wanted to introduce these three they didn't make the top 10 because they're not as like new they've been around for a while but I love them nonetheless this one is like my biscuit of choice Alfred is like like a chocolate biscuit definitely worth trying if you guys are here Thunder, which is like a really thin chocolate bar. Like it's almost like a chocolate wafer. They have a smaller version as well, which is like the, the chocolate bar, but they're like really, really light and airy. This is, so this is the original one. And then this came a bit later and they made it kind of like into a, like a lighter, thinner waffly taste. And at Macadamia, these things are the bomb. So it's Macadamia pieces that are covered in milk chocolate and they are splendid. All right, so if you guys like my top 10, help me out and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to see more adventures in Tokyo or in Japan, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.